wasn't bad. Yeah. Sweetie, is something wrong? No, everything is fine. When will we tell her? Tell her what? That we are together. Sweetie, it's not that simple. What do you mean? We've been together for six months and you still can't tell that bitch you're breaking up. How much more time do you need to dump that whore? What is that? Let's get out of here. The door won't open. What kind of stupid jokes are these? Stop it! What the hell? Did you say something? Jay. Jay? Jacob? Were you listening to us? What did I just say? Um, well, you said that we, I mean, I... <laughs> huh, that's so Jacob. Everything goes in one ear and out the other. Yuki patted me on the shoulder. Her touch wasn't pleasant, so I leaned back further into the seat. Maybe we shouldn't have brought him with us. Liam, that's enough. <laughs> Christy threw a crumpled napkin at her boyfriend. He just smirked in response. I can't wait to get there. My whole body is numb. What are we going to do when we get there? We need to tidy up the house a bit, prepare some snacks, and punch. Boring. Yuki covered her ears with her hands, making Christy and Liam smile. Well, what do you want to do? I'll be lying on the sunbed drinking gin, and summoning Cthulhu. Everyone quietly giggled. Our last weekend will definitely be unforgettable. We unloaded in front of the house. It didn't look any particular way. For all you know, it could have belonged to some rich guy or someone like us. What a terrible shack. Can someone explain why we chose this place? I'm against it. Why should we celebrate our graduation in this dump? If previously no one supported Abigail, now the majority backed her up. I looked up at Christy, who wasn't about to lose the argument. It's set for demolition. Only this fact about the house made the group side with Christy. Loud noises pulled me out of my memories. Christy and her boyfriend were arguing loudly about something, 
and Ethan was trying to help carry things, but his injured knee acted up at the worst moment. Who should I help right now? I walked over to Liam's car. In the rearview mirror, I saw him grabbing my friend's hand and squeezing it tightly. Christy wasn't one to back down and push the arrogant guy away. I unintentionally overheard part of their conversation. This will all end tomorrow. The guy gave a predatory smile and whispered something in Christy's ear that made her furious. Hey, is everything okay with you two? Of course. He walked past, intentionally bumping my shoulder. Are you okay? I examined Christy's hands, hoping the jerk had not hurt her. Everything's fine. It's just a minor quarrel. Christy immediately busied herself unloading groceries and alcoholic drinks from the car. Please take this to the kitchen. And this. I could barely hold everything Christy handed me. He he he, you look funny right now. I habitually rolled my eyes. An unconscious smile appeared on my face. Jay. Yes? Christy gave a shy smile and adjusted one of the boxes as she approached me. It was about to fall. By the way, be careful in the kitchen. The Wicked Witch is already cooking. I won't be eating or drinking today. We entered the house together. The guys were actively exploring the new territory. I brought the last box to the kitchen. Abby was actively putting the groceries away. Is that all, or is there more? This is the last box. Everyone here. The others started gathering from different parts of the house. Everyone except Christy and Leah. Hey you, what's your name, Jake? Find your girlfriend and bring her here. I didn't want to argue with Abby. I sighed and went upstairs to call Christy and her boyfriend. Did you bring it? Of course, I did. I tiptoed to the room and pressed my ear to the door. Eavesdropping was wrong, but I had no other choice. Lately, Christy had been distancing herself from me. I wanted to know why. You've been naughty, Christy. Sorry. Will you do what I ask? Yes. Good girl. Liam handed Christy a pill, and she quickly swallowed it. Come here. Let's have some fun. 
but the others... They'll manage on their own. Now, I was even more curious about the strange arrangements between Liam and Christy. Why is Liam blackmailing her? What does he know that I don't? With these thoughts, I stumbled into the kitchen. Everyone was already there. Did you find Liam and Christy? Abigail was pleased with her stunt. Um, they'll come later. Wonderful, we've already assigned tasks. What would you like to do? I'll help with the decorations. Lily, at that moment chewing something, stared at me. Over five years at university, we had exchanged maybe a dozen phrases. Okay. We silently decorated the room. We're out of nails. Lily, can you please bring some more from the basement? At that moment, I thought Lily was wearing headphones and didn't hear me, so I was about to repeat my request louder, but she responded first. I'm not going down there. Are you serious? I'm stuck on the ladder. Lily didn't respond and just continued working on the collage of photos. Damn it. My displeasure didn't phase Lily, but I had to drop everything and go to the basement. The light was flickering, and I barely found the boxes where I could find a few rusty nails. Jay? Why are you sneaking up on me? And why didn't you respond? Lily grabbed my hand and pulled me toward the exit. As soon as we were in the corridor, she let go of my hand and walked to the living room. Only now did I notice that I was holding a voodoo doll in my hand. I decided to throw it in the trash and focus on more important things. Everyone heard Yuki's voice in the evening. She announced through a megaphone that it was time for the couch potatoes to gather on the first floor. Everyone, everyone, and one, two, three, we did it. Yeah. Yuki jumped onto the couch and decided to introduce everyone. Ethan, the golden boy. However, that doesn't stop him from... A photo of Ethan satisfying himself in the locker room appeared on the screen. It improves concentration. Liam. The top student and as good as the elite of our class. But has anyone seen Liam at the university? Yuki played a recording where one of the teachers was speaking. Ah, that Liam. No, I've never met him. It 
If your last name were Hawk, you'd also have good grades, Yuki. Liam flopped onto the couch and grabbed a can of beer. Shame on you, Liam. Christy, the best at everything. However, she's ready to cry when she gets second place. A photo of Christy crying with a silver medal around her neck appeared on the TV screen. Lily, a genius artist whose paintings no one has ever seen. Lily paled and slipped into a poorly lit corner. Abigail, the queen of the class. However, instead of a heart of stone, Abby has a heart. She donates most of her income to animal shelters. The whole group looked at Abby. No one would have ever guessed that Abigail had a shred of compassion in her heart. And you all are insufferable bores. So, get wasted tonight and burp rainbows. <laughs> you were always jealous of me. I need to stop this. was a great success. We drank a lot, smoked and laughed. <laughs>